Hello, this is uh, another installment in how to build the quick and easy Stirling engine. In this video, I'm going to show you how to bend the crankshaft. This is one of the one of the steps that people get stuck on a few times, so I thought I'd make a video to show you how I do it. To start with, I I create a template. And just to show you what I've marked on this template, I have these parallel lines that are the offset distance of the crankshaft. The, the center line, and then we have the large offset, and we have the small offset, because the tail end of the crank that goes over the drive cylinder is going to have a, the small offset in the crank size, and then the section that sits over the middle of the engine is going to have that larger offset. Now these dimensions are in the book so you can look those up when you make your template. And then I've marked the template to show the, where the engine body is and where the, the drive mechanism is so that I can just hold my crankshaft over the template and know how it's going to fit. So I start with a piece of 12 gauge or 14 gauge electrical wire and I'm going to uh, bend this to to shape the template. And so I, as I put it over here, I can tell that I need to make it long enough to fit over the drive section, and then that's where the small bend will be, and the big bend will be out here. So this first bend is pretty easy. Uh, I'm just going to grab it with the pliers and pull a little bend down there, and then I'm going to compare it to the template. And I should be able to lay it on the template and get the, the wires to, to sit parallel with those lines. When I have this line and this line on the wire, then I know I have the proper offset. Now I'm keeping this bend right in here at about 45 degree angles, and that makes it easier to install after you have all your bends made. It also makes it easy to adjust. So if if I need to make it a, a, a bigger offset, I can just twist it like this. And now you see it's, it's much larger when I put it on the template. And when I need to make it smaller, I can twist it back the other way. And it brings that offset down. So I'll do that until I have the same offset still a little bit much so there we go now you notice it kind of is going out of straight a little bit so it's always a good idea as you see that happening this copper wire is very soft, so it bends very easily, almost too easily. It holds up under the, the microscopic loads of this little engine quite well. But you do have to be careful as you bend it that all the pieces stay parallel. And they need to be parallel when they're this way as well as when they are this way. So now I have that first bend. This is sitting on the line here. This sits on the line here. And I can see that this little bend is going to fit right in there because this is the edge of the engine where that's going to fit right there. So now I'm ready to make the larger bend. Now the thing that's real important that confuses a lot of people is these are not on the same plane. I have to rotate this 90 degrees. So this is now standing up off the page, off my template. Now I'm going to bend it out to this line. So with that in mind, I'll grab it right in here. Next bend is going to be right about there. That's looking pretty good. Next bend will be right about there. And 
Again, I'm keeping these at less than 90 degrees. That makes it easier to thread into the motor and it also makes them adjustable so later you can you can make some fine-tuning adjustments. I'm going to sight down it here to make sure everything is staying straight. Now we'll take a look at this. Holding this on the center line right here and here we can see that we, we match this offset right here and this one is standing up off the template because there's a 90 degree difference. If I rotate, now this one is standing up, this one is down flush, and the smaller offset matches right there. That looks like that'll fit right inside our can. And then this end out here is where the flywheel is going to attach and so uh, the way that I put that flywheel attachment on there is I come out about an inch or so and make a 90 degree bend and then we just kind of fashion a loop out of the tail end of that wire And so now that will fit flush against the flywheel. So the key things to remember when you're putting this together is that all the main sections need to stay parallel and follow the lines of your template. You need to have the small offset over your drive mechanism. You need to have the larger offset for the center for lifting your displacer. The dimensions are in the book. There's a 90 degree difference in phase between the two offsets. They're not, so they're not on the same plane. When this one's flush and down flat, this one's standing up. And when you rotate it 90 degrees, you can see that that continues to be the case. And then we make a little loop at the end for attaching the flywheel.